This Lapis Blue Metallic Golf R Wagon is the first one to arrive in Australia. It arrived on Friday the 8th of April and is currently the only one, so we're here. Now, it is a really peripheral car compared to the hatch. The hatch is gonna massively outsell this. In fact, the Tiguan, which is sitting in the background over there, is gonna outsell this by something like 10 to one, which is also a great mid on oil album, but that's beside the point. This Golf R Wagon though, because we're only getting a modest amount of them, priced at exactly the same price as the Tiguan R at 68,990, means that this is in a European spec. So there are some differences with the mechanics with this car compared to the hatch. For example, its engine is a Euro 6D tune. It also has a petrol particulate filter and has slightly more torque than the hatch at 420 Newton meters. And its 235 kilowatt power peak is at a slightly broader rev range than it is in the hatch. So those sort of changes do make a couple of bits of difference. The wagon is 82 kilos heavier than the hatch, but it only is 0.1 of a second slower to 100 at 4.9, and it uses slightly less fuel. It's combined numbers 7.4 litres per 100 compared to 7.8. So there's a couple of good things about it. Now that we have decent fuel in Australia, apparently, that means that this engine can run here efficiently. Now, as for the wagon things that it does itself, it has a 50 millimetre longer wheelbase in the hatch for a bit more rear seat room. And for me, the reason why you would buy one of these is in here. Inside the back of it, 611 litres of boot space compared to 374 in the hatch and 615 in the Tiguan. Although that Tiguan number is when the seat is all the way forward, I'm pretty sure. Whereas this has that every time, all the time. For wagon lovers, this is absolutely the reason why a Golf R wagon, in my opinion, is arguably cooler than the hatch. In the context of fast wagons though, the Golf R is in a class of its own. Sure, Skoda offers the hugely likeable Octavia RS wagon, but it can't match the Golf R's performance. And when it comes to other alternatives, none of them can really touch the Golf R's more hardcore driver appeal. Not even Volkswagen's own Passat 206 TSI R-Line, which costs three grand less than the Golf R, but only really wins out for luggage space and ride quality. Then you get to the actual performance wagons, few of which are still offered in Australia. The Mercedes-AMG C63S estate is gone. The BMW M3 and M5 Tourings have never been offered here. And if you want something like that, you need to shop at sister brand Audi to buy something like an S4 Avant that costs 40 grand more, or an RS4 that costs double the price of the Golf R wagon. In fact, at 68,990, the Golf R wagon is actually a bit of a bargain, even after being optioned with a $2,000 sunroof and a $1,000 Harman Kardon stereo. Let us know what you think.